विष्णु भक्ति प्रदे देवी सत्यवत्याय नो नम गुंडाई तुलसी देव्याय प्रिया केशवा विष्णु भक्ति प्रदे देवी सत्यवत्याय नमो नम श्री गुंडाई तुलसी देव्याय प्रिया केशवा विष्णु भक्ति प्रदे देवी सत्यवत्याय नमो नम श्रीमदय तुलसी महाराणी की
Was testing, was testing. Can you hear me? Can you please confirm? Hare Krishna, was testing, was testing. Can you hear me? Can you hear me clearly? Was testing, was testing. Darcy say can hear. So it's good. But I don't know where is it live at. It's even so small. That's why I'm not touching it. It's even so small. That's why I'm not touching it. It's even so small. 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 
Hare Krishna 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 Hare Okay, I'll Okay. I'll Okay. I'll cut you with your order. Vishnu Padai, Krishna Pastai, Bhutale, Shemati Bhakti Viranta Swami, Tinami, Namaste, Sarasati Deva, Gorava.
Yamuna Tira Vanatari Yamuna Tira Vanatari 
जय राजा माधवा कुंज बिहारी जय राजा माधवा कुंज बिहारी जान वाला गिर बर गोपी जान वाला गिर बर नंदन व्रज जन रंजन यशोर नंदन व्रज जन रंजन यमुन तेरावन चारी मुन तेरावन चारी हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जय जय प्रभु 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 जय शिव प्रभु Which is the best? ओम नमो भगवते वसुदेवाया ओम नमो 
भगवते नमो भगवते सो रीडिंग फ्रॉम भगवद गीता पत्रम पुष्पम पलम तो यो मे भक्त प्रयाचतीदम भक्ति पारित अश्नामी प्रयतात्मना पत्रम पुष्पम फलम तो यो मे भक्त प्रयाचती भक्ति अहम पारित अश्नामी प्रयतात्मना पत्रम पुष्पम फलम तो यो मे भक्त प्रयाचती हम भक्ति पारित अश्नामी प्रयतात्मना पत्रम पुष्पम फलम तो यो मे भक्त प्रयतम भक्ति अस्ना प्रयतात्म पत्रम पुष्प फल तो यो मे भक्त प्रयाचती प्रयतात्मी प्रयताप्टर नाइन टेक्स नंबर ट्वेंटी Anybody else like to chant? Patram pushpam palam toyam. Patram pushpam palam toyam. Yo me bhaktya prayachati. Yo me bhaktya prayachati. Tadaham bhaktya bhakti upadam. Tadaham bhakti upadam. Ashnami prayatatmana. Ashnami prayatatmana. Prabhu. प्रियतात्म पत्रम पुष्पम फलम तो यो मे भक्त प्रयाचती प्रियता प्रिय नो एनी अदर मैथेजेस नो Okay, trans with with yeah yeah. Okay, make them say it again. Patram, patram, ilai, ilai, pushpam, pushpam, pu, pu, palam, palam, padam, padam, toyam, toyam, nir, nir, ya, ya, yare num, yare num, me, me, yenak, yenak, bhaktya, bhaktya, bhakti uran, bhakti uran, prayachati, prayachati, pade kindra no, pade kindra no, tat. अहम भक्ति भक्ति अस्तामी मोड़ों अनुनमें 
Guru Maharaj. Okay, also. The no, it's okay. I'll just speak. Oh, okay. Om Magyana Timarandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chaksurun Militanyena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Vanchakaupata Rubyasya Kripa Sindhu Vaivata Patita Nam Pavanibyo Vaishnavibyo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Atvaita Gadara, Shri Vasadi Gorvata Vinda, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So Lord Krishna is describing in this verse how we can please him by offering simple items. He mentions four items, a leaf, a flower, fruit and water. So these four things are available everywhere. Especially in Malaysia. You have fruit and flowers growing everywhere. So these, these items, it's not that Krishna is greedy to get these things. He has many flowers and fruits. Because he has many goddesses of fortune, Lakshmi's, all serving him. So he doesn't need our offerings. But what he wants from us is our bhakti, our devotion. And he's mentioned the word bhakti twice in the one verse. So we all have bhakti, we all have devotion, but we're not giving all that bhakti to Krishna. We give it to so many other things. We have some devotion for our family, of course, our family and relatives and friends. We have a lot of love for them. And then we have devotion also for our home and our country. We have devotion for our car. But actually that, that devotion, it's all meant to be given to Krishna, to God. We are forgotten God. And because we have forgotten God, that's why we are having trouble and miseries in our life. When we forget God, we remember ourselves and we think of ourselves as the body. But this body is only the dress of the person, it's not the real person. Lord Krishna describes in the Bhagavad Gita that just like we give up the old dress to get on, to put on the new dress, the same way we give up the old and useless body, we take a new body. So, 
And we see in the course of our life, in this one life, we have changed the body many times. When we were young, we had the young body like these young people here. Where is that body now? It's gone. Even these children, they had also baby's body when they were born. That body's gone. In the they have, it's not that they've just grown, they've actually changed the body. Hmm. We have to understand, we have had many, many bodies. The Vedas tell us there are 84 lakh different species of life. And human life is only four lakh. Now we have the human body, but in the past we have had many different bodies in different species. Sometimes we were a bird in the sky. Sometimes we were a fish in the sea. Sometimes we were a deva in Swargaloka. We have had many different bodies. In the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna was telling to Arjuna how he taught the Bhagavad Gita to the Sun God. So when Lord Krishna heard, when Arjuna heard this, Arjuna was surprised because Krishna and Arjuna are the same age and they're friends. And here's Krishna telling Arjuna that I spoke this knowledge to the sun god. So Arjuna said, huh, how is it possible? You and I are the same age. The sun god, he is much, much, much older than all than both of us. And Lord Krishna said to Arjuna, Yes, Arjuna, he said, but we have had many births. And he said, I remember my births, you do not. We don't remember how we have taken birth in many different bodies. We only think this body, we are thinking now. But we have to understand this body it's only the vehicle, it's not the real person. Just like somebody is driving proton car, they're thinking, I am proton. Somebody else is thinking, I am Toyota car. <laughs> of course, we're not the car. We're, the person in the car is different from the car. But if there's no person in the car, the car won't go anywhere. 
அந்த கார் அந்த வாகனத்தின் உள்ளே ஒரு நபர் இல்லை என்றால் அந்த வாகனத்தினால் நகர முடியாது to move the car and the vaganathai ootuvadharku oru navar irukka vendum same way with this body we have this body there must be the driver in the body the driver is the soul the atma adu polave indha udalai seluthuvadharku adan ulle aatma ondru irukka vendum we have to understand what is the difference between the living body and the dead body நாம் இங்க என்ன விஷயம் புரிந்து கொள்ள வேண்டும் என்றால் உயிருள்ள ஒரு உடலும் உயிர் அற்ற ஒரு உடலுக்கும் இருக்கக்கூடிய வித்தியாசம் புரிந்து கொள்ள வேண்டும் There is no soul in the dead body ஒரு இறந்த சடலத்திலே அதனுள் ஆத்மா கிடையாது So death is simply the change of the body அதனாலே மரணம் என்பது ஆத்மா உடலை மாற்றக்கூடிய ஒரு விஷயம் அப்படிமே the soul never dies ஆத்மா ஒருபோதும் இறக்காது lord krishna says in the bhagavad gita for the soul there is no birth and there is no death பகவான் கீதையிலே மிக அழகாக தெரிவிக்கின்றார் இந்த ஆத்மாவுக்கு இறப்பும் கிடையாது பிறப்பும் கிடையாது and you cannot kill the soul with weapons ஆயுதம் கொண்டு அந்த ஆத்மாவை அழிக்க முடியாது you cannot burn the soul with fire நெருப்பால் அந்த ஆத்மாவை எரிக்க முடியாது you cannot drown the soul with water ஆத்மாவை நீரில் மூழ்கி வைக்க முடியாது and you cannot wither the soul with air ஆத்மாவை காற்றால் குளர்த்த முடியாது the soul is not material it is spiritual ஆத்மா என்பது ஜடமானது கிடையாது அது ஆன்மீகமானது So first part of Bhagavad Gita is to understand who we are. அப்போ கீதையில முதலே தெரிவிக்க கூடிய விஷயம் என்னவென்றால் ஆத்மா என்றால் என்ன? So Sri Prabhupada would often ask people, do you know who you are? பிரபுபாட் மக்களிடையே பிரபு பிரபுமார் ஒரு கேள்வி கேட்பார். நாம் யார் என்று நமக்கு தெரியுமா? And people even intelligent people materially intelligent people they don't know they simply think they are the body they don't know there's a soul in the body nariya padita panditharigalum seri kalvi maangalum seri naangal inda sariram naangal inda udal endra nenithukolgirargal so to help everyone understand the soul is very important that you should chant the hari krishna mantra adanale ஆத்மாவை உணரக்கூடிய விஷயமானது மிக பிரதமான விஷயமாக கருதப்படுகின்றது அதற்கு இந்த ஹரே கிருஷ்ண மகா மந்திரத்தை ஜபம் செய்வது சிவாரசிக்கின்றது ஜபம் செய்வதற்கு இரண்டு முறைகள் உண்டு முதல் முறை ஜபம் ஜபமாலை கொண்டு ஜபம் பண்ணுவது And the other way is when we are together we sing together we chant loudly singing matrundu murai bhagavanudaiya naamathai sangeetham pannuvathu pola vaasu sangeetham pannuvathu and you when you're on your own you can also sing loudly chant the holy name naam thanivile irukkukuriya poludhum bhagavanudaiya punitha naamangalai solli vegamaga paadalam this is called mantra meditation idanai mantra dhyanam endru solluvargal and this mantra meditation can be done any time any place inda mantra dhyanathai engu venalum eppol venalum seiyalam you may say oh no i'm not clean i'm not purified i'm contaminated no doesn't matter anybody can chant hari krishna inda hari krishna mahama japayavadharku oru neyamum kedaiyadu so 500 years ago lord krishna came as a devotee known as lord chaitanya 500 varudangalukku munbe bhagavan sri krishna re chaitanya mahaprabhu vaga bhaktaraga avadaram seidar and he is teaching everyone to chant this hari krishna mantra avar nam ellam inda hari krishna mahamandirathai dharam seivar eppadi endru namakkellam odithar this chanting of the hari krishna mantra will help will allow all of us to awaken our real consciousness as a spiritual being in the hari krishna mahamandirathai jam seivadanale nammude tannunarvai nam edupa mudiyum 
This chanting of the Hare Krishna mantra is recommended by all the great sages and by all the shastras. Now is the Kali Yuga. So in this age we have to chant the holy name. The process to practice religion is by chanting the holy name. So, there's a nice pastime took place with Lord Chaitanya. You know, Lord Chaitanya used to live in Jagannath Puri. And every year people would come from Mayapur to Jagannath Puri to visit him. So, one devotee went to visit Lord Chaitanya and he said to him, you know, he said, I'm in the family life. He said, very, how can I ever make advancement? I'm very fallen. Please tell me, what do I need to do to make advancement? You know, family life often means you're only interested in the family, you only think about money and television and you, you never bother to do any religious activities. So the devotee was asking, how can I make advancement? Please help me. So, Lord Chaitanya told the devotee, said, two things you have to do. Said, first thing is, you have to constantly chant Hare Krishna mantra. You can chant any time, day or night, inside or outside, any time. You don't have to chant on the beads, if you don't have beads it's okay, but the louder you chant, the more powerful it becomes. And then Lord Chaitanya said, one more thing you should do. You have to do service to the devotees. So service to the devotees, just like we have the program here, come for the program and help to maintain the temple here. Sometimes you can bring flowers to offer to Krishna. Sometimes you can bring some fruit to offer to Krishna. Maybe you have some leaves, tosi leaf. When he said, Krishna said padram, that leaf, that is the tosi leaf. So if you have tosi at home, you can collect the leaves, you can bring them here to offer to Krishna. And water, water should be Purify clean water, clean, not contaminated, pure water to offer to Krishna. We like to try to do service to Krishna and Krishna is pleased when we can offer even Ganges water with Tosi leaf. So Krishna consciousness is very simple, it's not difficult, very easy for everyone. Krishna Bhakti 
These young people are all making great spiritual advancement. But whether you're young or old, male or female, doesn't matter. Everyone can progress. So, so we encourage you, you try to chant this Hare Krishna mantra. And we should understand, Lord Krishna is encouraging us, don't eat the meat and fish and eggs, eat the clean, pure food. Nowadays people eat a lot of non-vegetarian food, it's not good. And as devotees, we also do not eat onion or garlic. Of course, everywhere they're using onion and garlic here. But onion and garlic are passionate food. They're very pungent, strong smelling, you know, and they increase the passion, the rajas in everyone. Well, you may say, well, come on, they're, veget they're vegetables. Why, you, you're a vegetarian, why can't we eat onion and garlic? But you have to understand, these things are not the good food for people practicing spiritual life. They won't help you to control your mind and senses. Garlic grew out of the dead cow. The people have taken from the dead cow and they're growing it and eating it. They're thinking, oh, very nice. They don't realize this is a actually very passionate food which co it covers the mind, covers the intelligence. So we invite all of you, we encourage all of you, chant this Hare Krishna mantra and learn how to practice this Krishna consciousness. And if you have a Bhagavad Gita, it's very good, try to read the Bhagavad Gita every day. We have a nice course going on for people in Malaysia, free course to study Bhagavad Gita, a chapter a day. So, if you have the mobile phone or the computer, then you can take part in that course and learn the Bhagavad Gita from devotees. That is called Gita Gyan. So, you please try, if you can, take part in these courses, hear the Bhagavad Gita, learn the knowledge and improve your life. Are there any questions? Yes, Prabhu. Yes, For the rest of the team, I mean, for many people here, uh, I have met uh, also many 
devotees trying to make them devotees. But uh, the, the real many queries, the very queries is because of onion and garlic, being a vegetarian. And uh, the situation has become a you know, serious matter among so many uh, uh, vegan, vegan uh, devotees or vegan people or even vegetarians, but they want to take uh, onion and garlic. So, how to really tell them, as you have mentioned Maharaj, I understand. But uh, onion and garlic, onion grew from where and uh, as you said, the, the, the garlic grew from the... the Dead cow. cow. So how to convince them is so very, very good. Well... Hare Krishna, Prabhu Kata Kedi Nanaka, Namadiya Vande, Nama Saiva Sapro. Anna Saiva Sapra get the Buddha, the Vangayam Buddhim, Tavika Kodia, or Visham, and the Kadina Maganam, so the Kandamaya. Anna Yunda Podom, Sasa and Gold Vande, in the in the Unabai Tavika Adikam, what you think in Reddit. Is it Yanakaranam, in the Prabodi Kedi? Well, we have to understand onion and garlic are not really meant to be food for civilized people who want to advance in spiritual life. Onion and garlic are aphrodisiac, means they increase the passion, the lust which we have. Now we already have passion and lust and you're eating onion and garlic, you become more passionate, more lusty. The Buddhists, they know, they don't eat onion and garlic, they won't eat the Buddhist monks, the Mahayana Buddhists, they won't eat onion and garlic. And even the airline pilots, they're told also, don't take any garlic because it will influence your judgment when you're flying the airplane. You have to be able to judge. <laughs> So, you can tell when people are eating onion and garlic, just the, the breath coming from their mouths is so powerful, you know, the stink of the onion and the garlic. So, this is the passion and ignorance. People say, well, I like the taste, I eat it because I like the taste. But there are spices to substitute for that. Just like onion, to substitute for onion we have asafatita, hing. Can use hing. Hing. So the food cooked by Hare Krishna devotees is very tasty. They use a nice combination of spices, they don't use any onion or garlic and it attracts many people, they enjoy the food very much. So you don't need you don't need to eat onion and garlic. You can live very well without it. Another question. The question is, I I ask many people, spoken to many people. They say uh, uh, garlic that has been you know uh, uh, has got medicinal value. 
you know, you know you pay all your joy pain. These are so many questions, and so many you know uh, views about Bali. Uh, so how do you know as a religious situation we have to be you know <laughs> in this situation? மற்றொரு கேள்வி என்னென்றால் இந்த இந்த பூண்டுக்கு ஒரு மருத்துவ தன்மை உள்ளது உண்மையா இல்லையா அப்ப அந்த பக்தர்கள் பூண்டு எடுக்கக்கூடாத பட்சத்திலே அந்த மருத்துவத்தை எப்படி நாம் மேற்கொள்வது சோ மெனி பீப்பர்ஸ் I think all right they still get joint pains they still get sick they still suffer all these problems it's just their excuse நம்மளே பெரும்பாலும் இந்த வெங்காய பொடி உணவை மேற்கொண்டோம் இருந்த போதிலும் நிறைய உபாதைகளை நாம் இந்த உடலே காண்கின்றோம் the often of course people say well, it's a lot of trouble i have to go to it's a lot of trouble to find food because everywhere they're using onion and garlic so i just take what's available and i can't find any food without onion and garlic அப்போ நாம் வந்து மிக எளிய முறையிலே உணவை மேற்கொள்வதற்காக வெங்காயம் பூண்டு சேர்த்த உணவை சாப்பிடு சாப்பிடுறோம் yes it's a little trouble in the beginning but once you get used to it it's not a problem ஆரம்பக் காலகட்டத்தில் அது கடினமான விஷயமாக இருந்தாலும் பிறப்பாடு அது நமக்கு பழகிவிடும் but very important to control the time ஒவ்வொரு <laughs> உணர்வைக்கும் <laughs> <laughs> very good. <laughs> Doesn't sound very good to offer to Krishna. This is the bean. Oh. The patai, the local. Allah, this is local. This is the local. Yeah, this is the local. Yeah. I don't think Krishna takes it. He never offered. He never offered. He never offered. Also very smelly. Yeah, we cook for Krishna, you know. You have to cook for Krishna. What does Krishna like? Okay. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much. 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 Well, certainly when when it comes to taking medicines with animal products in you want to be very cautious and if possible try to avoid mata mata jodi kelvi na na nam unnugindra sela marundugalile adare gelatin ullathu animal product murugathala seiyappatta kuluppu konde seiyappatta marundu irukkirathu andha marundai nam etkollalama koodada adhe kavi appo adhukku maharashtra badhil enna 
ஆரம்ப காலகட்டத்தில் நம்ம வந்து எந்த அளவுக்கு இதை தவிர்க்க முடியுமோ அதை தவிர்க்க முயற்சி செய்ய வேண்டும் Often they have medicines with animal products, you can find the, you know, you can get the same benefit by having some other medicine which is not got animal products in it. You have to find, some, you can find some substitute, you, maybe you can even change the doctor. Sometimes <laughs> doctors, doctors they're promoting, they want to, because they're meat eaters themselves, you see. And so they want, they think, oh yeah, you better eat, they take this medicine and they'll give you the medicine with some animal products. But sometimes you, if you get another doctor, he can give you some medicine without the animal products. Yeah. Yes, there is different styles of medicine, different paths of medicine. So you find one which can help you which is without the animal products, without all the things which you want to, which you want to avoid. You know, I did hear like somebody had intestinal worms. So what's the cure? They said garlic. Garlic tablets, supposed to be the cure for intestine. Okay, so take the garlic tablets, get rid of the worms and then you don't take it anymore, right? Then you stop. If you have, the, if you have to take it, you take it, but you don't keep on taking it. How did the intestinal worms come in? It's because of our food we take. Yes. Yes. So, to prevent it is better than cure. I mean, why should we uh, allow the intestinal worms to come into our stomach? Yes. Why we are in the high question. Am I right, Maharaj? Yes. Yeah, usually these worms come from eating meats and yeah. fish and things. Mm-hmm. No, you talk about the culture, but nowadays the Hindus are they're not following the culture. No. They only talk about um, religion, but they're not practicing the culture. Yeah. So it is more important than the uh, tattoo. Oh. Mm. So, in the, uh, yes? Yeah. Yeah, Prabhu was asking, but even the fruits, the mango also have uh, worms. Yeah, but fruit worms are a little different, you see. The fruit worms are different from the worms which you'll get in non If there are worms in the fruit, then you don't eat the fruit, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now we have to understand what is the proper standard. This is that. You know, in the past people were very clear about these things. In the past, your fam- families, your forefathers, your grandfather, just like Prabhu, his grandfather built this house, right? Right? Grandfather built this house. So, he made the temple. Nowadays people, where, where are they? You know, they're, they're all live, live in an apartment, they don't have temple anymore, they don't do puja anymore. You know, they've given up a lot of the culture and they've become meat eaters and drunkards become very common. Meat eating and drinking and even all kinds of drugs people are taking. Even in India, the young, children, young people in the colleges and universities, many are taking drugs, the big problem. நம்முடைய முன்னோர்கள் 
ஆன்மீகத்திலே மிக நாட்டம் உள்ளவர்கள் எப்படி அதை பார்க்க உதாரணத்துக்கு என்னன்னா ஒரு ஒரு இங்கேதான் நம்ம ஒரு வீடு இருந்தா அங்க ஒரு கோயில் இருக்கும் அப்போ நம்மளுடைய முன்னோர்கள் நம்மளுடைய பரம்பரை சேர்ந்தவர்கள் எல்லாமே ஆன்மீகத்திற்கு நிறைய முக்கியத்துவம் கொடுத்தவர்கள் ஆனா இப்ப நம்ம பார்த்தோம் என்றால் நம்மளுடைய கலாச்சாரம் மாறிவிட்டது நம்மளுடைய நாட்டம் ஆன்மீகத்தின் மேல நம்மளோட நாட்டம் மிகவும் குறைபாடாக இருக்கின்றது இந்தியாவிலும் கூட இப்போது இருக்கின்ற இளைஞர்கள் அதிகமான போதை வசதிக்கு அடிமையாகிவிட்டார்கள் இப்பொழுது ஆலயத்துக்கு வரக்கூடிய நிறைய பெண்மணிகளுக்கு சேலை அணியக்கூடும் தெரியாம இருக்கின்றது And of course the men very common they don't know how to put on a dhoti. ஆண்களுக்கும் வேட்டி எப்படி கட்டிறது தெரியாம போயிட்டது. Well the basic culture when they eat they eat with two hands. They use the left hand and the right hand. When they eat with two hands it's a sign they are meat eater. நாம் எப்பொழுது இரண்டு கரங்கள் கொண்டு உண்ணுகின்றோமோ அது அசைவ உண்ணிகள் என்று கருதப்படுகின்றது பொதுவா அமெரிக்கா <laughs> 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 மலேசியா <laughs> because people have come out of india they've forgotten the culture adanaley nam pracharathai nam merkolla vendum nam nam ellam india naatai serndavargal anal indiyai vittu nam vela matra naadugalukku vandha bodhu nammudaiya kalaacharathai nam marandu vittu they don't know what is proper behavior in the temple aalayathile eppadi nam nadandukolla vendum endra adipadai vishayangal kuda நம்மளிடையே <laughs> And the tea, coffee, we have to drink the tea, coffee, and we have to drink the tea. And when there is a wedding, then they have alcohol and all kinds of things. And for the wedding, they want onion and garlic. They think this is tasty food. They don't know this is just the mode of passion and ignorance. கல்யாணத்திருமணங்களுக்கு they have to be pure so bhagavanukku samaikkindra unnugal kuda uniyana ennathile samaikkapada vendum if the woman is in menstruation cycle she cannot cook she is not clean appen mani orthar avanga dooramaga vidakapatta kaalagattathile avargalum bhagavanukku naiveedhiyam seiyakoodadu 
So how is a man supposed to eat? He should cook. <laughs> so we have to learn how to follow the culture. It's a Vedic culture. In the past it was like that. When the woman is in cycle, then she's resting, she can rest, she just lay down and rest. But now today she's working and she's cooking and she's working and she's so, many, so busy. And that's why you don't get children hardly anymore. People are struggling to have one child or very difficult for them. They spend so much money, they try to get the baby. But when women were staying at home, and t cooking and taking care of the family, then they could have children easy. But everybody mad after money. And the result is we we'll lose all the culture. Mm -hmm. Okay. So most important thing is try to eat vegetarian food and prasada, food offered to Krishna, that's the best. That is a karma free diet, no karma, no reaction. And so when you get the prasadam, then you can take prasadam anytime. And Srila Prabhupada encouraged new devotees to eat more prasadam. 
Because, because if you become attached to prasadam, then you also become attached to Krishna. So, of course, uh, gradually we should control how much food we eat. Hmm. Usually, young man cannot eat too much. They should eat a lot. They should eat more. Right? They should eat more. Do you like prasadam? <laughs> But the old people, they should eat less. Because we don't have the same digestion in the older age. And so, like when I joined Hare Krishna, Prabhupada used to tell us, eat more, take more. But Prabhupada took very less. Prabhupada was already over 70, 80. So Bhagavad Gita said, Yogi cannot eat too much or eat too little. Eat too much, diabetes. You get diabetes if you eat too much. It's a rich man's disease. Anybody got diabetes here? It's a common disease. So, generally, it's you eat too much. And if you eat too little, you get tuberculosis, TB. Sometime back I was in JB. So we had three diabetics and we had one person had TB. <laughs> So, if you regulate the eating, don't eat too much, don't eat too little. And of course you have to drink water when you eat the food. There should be liquid, it shouldn't just be all rice and rice and kurma. <laughs> must try to control the food. You have to take water or liquid along with the food. Ayurveda say the power of digestion increases as the sun rises. Main meal should be in the middle of the day. And when the sun goes down, power of digestion also goes down. So we don't encourage people to eat too much at night. It's not a good time to eat at night. But because prasadam is here, you have to take prasadam. Mm. Okay. But uh, Mahesh, in, in Malaysia is our culture that we have uh, many programs at night, then we are serving prasadam. So how to avoid that? Uh, 
<laughs> we will give you tosi leaf. You take a tosi leaf. <laughs> you can take it and save it till tomorrow morning. Take it home and eat it tomorrow morning. Okay, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thanks everybody who attended this program with Sushevita Maharaj. Thank you for your behalf of Swan Austra. Thanks to Maharaj for willing to come and associate with us. On behalf of Swan Austra, thanks to Maharaj and other devotees from Sushevita.